Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all my fellow dirt diggers all around the world. And speaking of all around the world, we have some new subscribers from around the world. Now, I don't want to butcher your name, so I apologize, but I'll mention where you're from because that I can pronounce. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. But I do appreciate you coming in, subscribing. Um, it means a lot, it really does, I, it honestly does. Anyways, we have new subscribers from Italy. We have new subscribers from Morocco. I can't remember if I mentioned that in the last video. Uh, new subscribers from India. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, Indonesia, Malaysia. Uh, I think I mentioned Hong Kong already. Um, and obviously we have, you know, we have some new subscribers from the U.S. and Canada, which I still greatly appreciate. Don't worry, but I just can't. Uh, I, I don't want to butcher anyone's names, especially the ones that are far, far away. But I really do appreciate it. And I, you know, I thank you so much for, for joining me on my adventures in my little piece of this planet we call Earth. And I hope you enjoy the videos. If you do, please subscribe, hit the like button, turn on notifications, and you will find out when I upload more videos. Also, when I'm going live. Speaking of live, I want to mention that we are in the works of having a new, um, not really a TV show, but I guess a, uh, a live show where we're going to premiere a video first featuring uh, detectors from around the world. And then right after the video, we're going to have a live stream talking to those detectors. I watch a lot of videos and there's questions I ask. I'll type it in and sometimes they don't get back to me. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, or it takes a couple months. Um, so this way, if you have questions from people that are in the video, you can ask them right away and they'll answer the, 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 uh, they'll answer the questions. That's my game plan. So hopefully that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks. We are working very hard to get this going as soon as possible. Anyways, today's video, we are heading out to the beautiful town, the area, the county of Dufferin. And we are gonna head up some parks, some uh, local areas that I haven't hit yet. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Fingers crossed, wish me luck, and we will see you at the first target. Thanks. Take time to make yourself feel good, and you do whatever you want, because you can now. target not sure exactly what it is but I'm not sure if you know what this is please comment down below let me know all right we want the next target all right got our target it's probably about uh, two or three inches down I'm not sure exactly what it is It'd be nice if it was a bullet, but I know it's not. Maybe it's a, uh, when you're starting off, maybe a hammer. It's one of those things that you hammer when you start off a screw hole in metal. I forget what it's called, but anyways, if you know what it's called, comment down below. All right. Next hole. Good morning, all my fellow dirt diggers. This is just a little reminder. If you're going to dig in the ground, make sure you fill your holes. Because, one, it's a horrible tripping hazard. Two, you don't want to leave big holes everywhere. So make sure you fill your holes and make sure you make it look like you were never there.
I'm CJ, the official gold digger. Stay safe and keep on digging. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Alright, we got a surface find, and it's a good one. Alright. <laughs> Samsung charger. And that's what I have, a Samsung. Looks pretty brand new. And it's the new universal plug. All right, on to the next target. You know, I don't understand why people would do this, but there's busted glass in this park. I mean, kids play here. Come on, guys, smarten up. Anyways, at least I caught it. It's going into the trash, and nobody's going to get hurt. All right, on to the next target. All right, we got a target. A dollar. Mo money. Mo money. Mo money, baby. All right. Okay, we got a target. It's all over the place. 22, 78, 82. So if it's a coin, I'm guessing it's a toonie. That's around the surface. So let me dig around. See if I can. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right there. See it? Right. Oh, ready to go. Right there. Toonie. Yeah, baby. Mo money. Mo money. We're back on the money, baby. All right. Got a surface find just sitting right there. It's a dime. And it's going in my pocket, baby. All right. Target, thanks to the simplex. Looks like. Another dime. Another target. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Mo money, baby. All right. Target. Mo money. Right there. Looks like a nickel. We're on the money today, baby. Keep her coming. All right, so the simplex is 28, 29, constant, constant, constant. And it looks, it looks to be a nickel, but I don't know, because it might be an old nickel, because usually our nickels are not made of nickel anymore. So let's pick it up and have a little look-see. Sorry for the shake. Oh, yeah, it is a nickel. Looks like it's been there for a while. The year is, oh, this is 2000. Oops, sorry about that. Come on. On my hand, not the ground. Anyways, it's a 2000 nickel. We can see the changing color a little bit. It's been there for a while. Anyways, it's mine now, baby. <laughs> All right, see you at the next target. All right, so we got another target. I just caught the rim of it. I didn't look at it. Let's undig it together, shall we? It's right, right there. As Merle would say, it's a quarter. All right, so. All over the place, 82, 78, 92, 56, 95, 48. So it's a Canadian quarter or a Canadian coin. Anyways, it's right, can you see it? Peeking out right there. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Can you see it right? Where's my finger? Right over, just peeking out. Anyways, let's pick it up. And put it in my pocket. Looks like maybe a, oh, maybe a nickel or a quarter. Sorry, folks. Oh, it's a quarter. Oh, what? Wow, it's 1988. Hmm. Still not older than me, unfortunately, but that's weird. Haven't seen older ones like that in a while. Cool. All right. Into my pocket. Moving on to the next one.
this brings back childhood memories for me at least how about you guys the old Popeye cigarettes <laughs> now they're called tasty candy stick instead of cigarettes anyways I'll pick it up throw it in the trash all right moving on got another target Four three four three ninety seven two three four ninety seven. That is a Canadian dime. I tell you what. Can you see it? Right. Right there. All right. Man, this park is paying off I like it I like it a lot and don't forget even though you pick up a dime or something always swing again because you never know it might be a coin spill <sighs> all right see you at the next target hey guys you know I'm kind of saddened because you know you, you, you come to a park or you bring your kids to a park and I mean, obviously they need to, 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 to fill in the area if they have to, but I just I was just going back to the car and I was digging in, I don't know if you can see it, but digging in the sand pit there. And I came across that, where all the kids are playing. That is a big, massive piece of steel. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna turn the camera around, just give me a second. So if you can see, this big buildup right here, there's the houses, and there's drainage, there's a sewer down there, and it's all built up, and it even goes higher to the soccer field. So it makes you wonder, you know, obviously they had to bring fill in, because this isn't natural, but they're bringing in junk. I've seen this in so many parks. Like, I'm so saddened by it, where, you know, you bring your kid, and it's like, oh, they're having a great time. Six inches down below, there's junk, like, a lot of junk. And I know for a fact that if any town accepts truckloads of dirt, they get paid for it. So not only did they get paid for accepting crappy junk. They put it in parks. Like if you're gonna put it in a, in a spot, put it where your place is getting built, where it's gonna be built on top of so no one cares or it doesn't get hurt. Like what if some kid was digging down there and he pulled it up or got, or got cut on it? Like seriously, like what is this world coming to? It's all about money, 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 mo money. <laughs> hey, my, my mo money is nickels and dimes. But they probably get like a hundred bucks a truck of, of dirt, of junk dirt, if not more. I know there's a place up in uh, in Stouffville, an old an old dirt mine. Uh, there's trucks constantly going in there every day. And I heard they get about 70 to 100 bucks per truck. And there's got to be hundreds of trucks a day just dumping dirt, dumping dirt, dumping, filling in the old sand mine. But it... it, it saddens me to imagine that that the, the, that the government local or whatever provincial is accepting this stuff and putting it where kids play it's very sad I hope this gets out there and they and they people realize the wool that's getting pulled over our eyes in so many different ways anyways I'm done here I cleaned up got about three or four bucks I think Let's go to the next location. All right, see you there. Okay, we got a target in the hole. Ugh. Ugh. What is trash doing that far down? Grr. Oh well. Out of the earth and into the trash where it belongs. Okay, on to the next target. We got a target. On the simplex, it is going from 92 to 6 to 4. 
67, 65, 80. And I can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Where is she? Where to go? Oh, wait. Right. Right there. I got a dollar, I got a dollar, I got a dollar, hey, 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 hey. All right. One of the best spots to look in my, in my mind. Got a target. There it is, right there. She's a dime. All right, see you at the next target. Got another target. It's right down there, right? There. Looks like a nickel. That's all right, five cents richer, baby. All right. There's the hole. There's the money. All right. Okay, we've got our first target at the next park. And it looks like a dime, right? Right there. All right, moving on to the next target. Got a target. It's a penny. All right, more money, baby, all right. Another target right below this structure. It's really hard. That's what I like about the simplex. It, if you can, you can dial it in and you can still find it. And it is right, right there. Looks like another dime. All right, more money, baby, in the bank. All right, see you at the next target. All right, I found the target. And I think, I think that's it right, right there. It's a little rim there. So I'm going to check that out. Hopefully that's it. <laughs> Put down that. Put my glove back on because you've got to be safe with COVID going on. If it is a dime, I was going to say, if it is a coin, it looks like a dime. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Not a dime at all. Cool, check it out. A little digging trowel. Sweet. I can use that for my digging. Nice. Nice little strong trowel. Cool. That was an odd find. Sweet. All right, see you at the next target. Just peeking out. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. So let's dig it out and see what she is. Looks like a dime or a nickel, but we'll see. Hold on. Yep, it's a dime. All right, see the next target. Got a target. It's a dime. It's a young Liz, too. It might be silver. I'll have to check it out when I get home. All right. All right, so I got a target, and I thought it was a dime at first, but I think it's a penny. I can't make up the date, but I see the leaves like a penny, but I I see silver kind of coming through the edge, some of the edges there. The nice thing about finding pennies is, is that, to me, that means no one's been here. And being a penny, that... Uh, been here for quite a while so there could be some nice uh i'm going over there next and then all these big fields here is all mine for the taking all right so i'm not sure i think it says 72 but i'm not sure i can't i'll look at it later when i get home but anyways see you at the next target see that target right there bringing up 75 76 so it looks like a penny and it is right, right, right there. So it looks like we're getting the old stuff. So it's a nice thing. Anyways, see you the next target. I just wanted to show you this one. It was the one I just found, 1981. So there is stuff that's been sitting here for a while because pennies haven't been made for a while. So this might be an original drop so hopefully fingers crossed 
There's a lot more old stuff here. Anyways, we will see you at the next Target. All right, so the Simplex did a good job today, did its work. Go through all the trash and the cash that we got today. So this was an odd one. It was in, I, I didn't, I didn't record everything because so my battery's getting low, but <clears throat> I often think that, you know, why do you guys want to see junk like this? coins unless it's amazing so I didn't really record everything but anyways here we go so we got this this was in a play park all this stuff is in play parks uh, so we got that nice hinge with screws sticking out that was in the ground we got this little keychain thing a nail little uh, clip I think that one's a battery a couple washers wing nut and screw some wire a little heart Part uh, pin that I'm not sure and then all the coins that I did see show some of the coins that we got but um, so these are all the coins that we found today so far we have a couple parks to go to but yeah so you know when it comes down to it even though we did find you know a couple bucks in coins but to me that's more important because now that stuff's not gonna be in someone's foot or hand or whatever. Anyways, we are going to head on to the next location. All right, see you soon. So as I was packing up, an older gentleman came up to me and asked me if I wouldn't mind giving him a hand finding a ring that he dropped in his backyard. So I said, of course, you know, he seemed like a nice guy who was gonna kill me or anything, so. Uh, but he didn't want to be on camera. So we're just going to head over there and uh, swing for a bit, see if we can find it. Hopefully we find it. And uh, he did say uh, I can take a picture of it because I asked him uh, if I could because I have a YouTube channel and that. And he said, yep, that's fine, no problem, but it just doesn't want to be on camera. So he feels kind of embarrassed and it's not his cup of tea. So anyways, we're going to head over there now and uh, see if we can find the ring. Hopefully we do. And we'll get a picture of it. All right, guys, stay tuned. Luckily, we found the ring. It didn't take me too long. It took about 10 minutes. Uh, he was cutting the grass and it came off and he was scared to keep cutting the grass so the grass grew a bit longer after a couple days of looking. But uh, we found it and as you saw with the picture, it was a nice ring. It had a little diamond in it and uh, it was a 10 karat gold ring that was given to him by his, uh, by his wife. Um, and so we found the ring. So that was pretty cool, pretty cool. I was so glad that I could help him out. And it was just fluke, because I, if I left five minutes earlier, the guy wouldn't have seen me. He was just walking his dog first thing this morning, and he saw me, he goes, I hate to ask, but you know, could you do me a favor? I just lived down the street, and uh, I lost my ring cutting the grass, and we were able to find the ring, so that was pretty cool. So that topped off my day, no matter what I found today. That was a good feeling, my good deed for the day. I'm glad I found it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for, for following me in my videos and subscribing. I really appreciate it, and I, I hope you do like the videos. If you do, please comment down below. And just let me know what you think. If you don't like him, let me know as well because I can take him. Anyways, I'm CJ, the official gold digger. As you saw, we are on the gold again. Although it was kind of a kind of a seeded uh, gold find, but that's okay, still gold. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching again. I greatly appreciate it. And we will see you on the next one. As always, stay safe and keep on digging. Can't now.